Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, why? Why are we all here? What's out there? And how does it all work? Well, you're certainly not alone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big why. I'm just as curious as you are about the universe and everything in it. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest reaches of space, no question is too big, no topic too strange for us. We'll crack open the mysteries of black holes, journey to the edge of the universe, and explore the mind-blowing discoveries that are changing our world. So if you're ready to unleash your inner scientist, ask the tough questions, and explore the universe alongside me, then buckle up, and let's ask why. Throughout history, mathematicians have grappled with some truly mind-bending problems. These unsolved mysteries have stumped brilliant minds for centuries. Today, we're going to dive headfirst into some of these legendary challenges and the mathematicians who have contributed their lives to further our understanding of them. It may not have been you this time, but who knows? Maybe one day I'll tell the world how you were the one to solve them. In the deepest corners of the cosmos, a silent ballet unfolds. Not a graceful performance, but a brutal waltz. Three celestial bodies locked in a dance of immense gravity. This is the three-body problem, a puzzle that has haunted physicists for centuries. Imagine a cosmic tug of war, but instead of friendly competition, it's a fight for survival. Each massive object pulls on the others, their movements becoming a chaotic mess. Slight nudges in the beginning morph into wildly unpredictable trajectories. For scientists, this unpredictability is a nightmare. Predicting the future movements of these bodies is like navigating a labyrinth blindfolded. A miscalculation could lead to catastrophic collisions, or worse, the flinging of a celestial body out into the unknown abyss. But a recent study led by Professor Barrett Cole proposes a new theory, a flux-based statistical theory. This theory doesn't promise absolute certainty, but it offers a chilling glimpse into the symphony of chaos. The theory suggests the chaotic outcomes, the potential fates of these celestial bodies, can be statistically predicted by two chilling factors. Number one being chaotic emissivity function. This measures the sheer level of chaos inherent in the system. A dance teetering on the edge of oblivion, where even the slightest nudge could unleash unimaginable destruction. The second one being asymptotic flux. This reflects the relentless tug of war, the gravitational influence each body exerts on the others. It's a constant force, pulling them closer to a potential cataclysmic encounter. The researchers didn't shy away. They ran millions of simulations forcing the celestial bodies to reenact their chaotic dance under different conditions. By analyzing these simulations, they were able to measure the chaotic emissivity function peering into the heart of the cosmic malstorm. And when they compared the predicted outcomes from the theory with the actual simulations, they found an unsettling agreement. The theory wasn't perfect, but it offered a powerful glimpse into the potential for disaster. While the study focused on three body systems in space, the implications are far-reaching. This new theory could reshape our understanding of chaos everywhere, from the microscopic worlds of atoms to the breathtaking dance of galaxies in the distant cosmos. This breakthrough may not offer complete control, but it equips us with a terrifying awareness of the chaos lurking in the very fabric of reality. The three-body problem remains a formidable foe, but this new research offers a weapon a way to understand and perhaps even predict the choreography of cosmic mayhem. It's a chilling reminder that the universe we see, the celestial ballet we admire, could erupt into a chaotic symphony of destruction at any moment. Now imagine a universe built on even numbers, where everything can be broken down into pairs. This is the essence of the Goldbach conjecture, the proposition that Every even integer greater than two can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. Prime numbers are indivisible. You can't break them down any further. The Goldbach conjecture suggests that every even number greater than two can be formed by combining these prime numbers in pairs. The Goldbach conjecture has been confirmed by incredibly large numbers. Mathematicians have tested this theory for billions of even integers always finding the prime pairs, but a complete proof remains elusive, a ghost hanging in the air, a constant reminder of the mysteries that still shroud the language of numbers. The lack of proof casts a long shadow. Is the Goldbach conjecture a cosmic truth? 
or a cruel illusion whispering through the vastness of numbers. The answer remains a haunting melody, a challenge that continues to beckon mathematicians, urging them to decipher the silence, the lingering doubt. The gold ball conjecture stands as a testament to the beauty and mystery of numbers. It's a reminder that even with the seemingly rigid structure of mathematics, there exists unknowns waiting to be unraveled. Perhaps someday, the complete proof will emerge. Have you ever gazed at the star-dusted night sky and wondered if we're alone? Are there other civilizations out there? Intelligent beings sending messages across the vast cosmic ocean? This is the very question that the Drake Equation attempts to answer. In 1961, astronomer Frank Drake didn't set out to count aliens. Instead, he created a framework, a conversation starter for scientists. This framework, now known as the Drake Equation, is a formula that considers various factors to estimate the number of active, communicative civilizations in our Milky Way galaxy. This equation is like the recipe for finding life. Each factor represents an ingredient. Number one being the rate of star formation. How many new stars are born in our galaxy each year? Number two is the fraction of stars with planets. How many of these stars have planetary systems? Number three is the number of planets per star that could support life. Within those solar systems, how many planets have the right conditions for life to emerge? Number four is fraction of planets that could support life that actually develop life at some point. Not every habitable planet will harbor life, but how many might? Number five is fraction of planets with life that develop intelligent life. Life might be common, but is intelligent life rare? or abundant. Number six is fraction of civilizations that develop a technology to release detectable signs of their existence. Even intelligent life might not advertise their presence. The beauty of the Drake equation lies in its ability to spark discussion. While the exact values for each factor remain a mystery, the equation compels us to consider the vastness of possibilities. Critics argue that the Drake equation can provide a definitive answer. The truth is, it wasn't meant to. It's a tool to guide us, a reminder that the universe might be teeming with civilizations, some quiet, some actively reaching out. The Drake Equation isn't about a specific number. It's about the awe-inspiring possibility that we're not alone. For centuries, scientists have grappled with understanding and predicting the behavior of fluids. From the gentle flow of water, to the churning storms of gas giants, fluids exhibit a mesmerizing complexity. The Navier-Stokes equations are the mathematicians' attempt to capture this complexity in a set of powerful formulas. These equations were named after French engineer Claude Louis Navier and Irish mathematician George Gabriel Stokes. They describe the forces acting on a fluid element at any given moment. Number one being inertia, the fluid's resistance to changing its motion. And number two being pressure, the invisible push and pull exerted by the fluid itself. Number three being viscosity, the internal friction within the fluid. And number four is external forces, the influence of gravity, magnetic fields, or other forces acting on the fluid. The beauty of the Navier-Stokes equation lies in their ability to describe a wide range of fluid behaviors. However, these equations can be notoriously challenging to solve. For many fluid flows, especially those involving turbulence and chaos, the equations defy analytical solutions. Despite the challenges, scientists are constantly developing new tools to analyze the Navier-Stokes equations. Powerful computers and advanced simulation techniques allow researchers to explore the complex choreography of fluids in ways never before possible. The implications of the Navier-Stokes equation extend far beyond celestial ballets. These equations are used to model everything from weather patterns and blood flow to the design of airplanes and spacecraft. Understanding how fluids move is essential for various fields of science and engineering. The Navier-Stokes equation remains a work in progress, waiting to be fully understood. While mathematicians continue their quest for a complete analytical solution, the equations themselves offer a powerful framework for exploring the mesmerizing chaotic worlds of fluids. The universe is a vast and possibly infinite space, and mathematicians are constantly striving to unravel its secrets. Are you curious to learn more about the unsolved questions that keep mathematicians up at night? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to drop a like and a follow, and I'll catch you why nots in the next video.